What's up guys, Big Belly here, and today I'm going to show you my 17th place Chaos Breaker deck profile. Let's, let's, let's get to it. Okay, so for the starter I played, I played the Draco Kid. I did not play Carbon. I play Carbon in the deck though. I play him to search out uh, the new Grade 3. Alright, so for the Grade 3s, I played 4 Close. For Hand Hate purely, uh, you never want to ride him. You mainly just want to use him for the Ditch Fodder, for Deluge, and for the uh, Stride Cost. For your main Grade 3, I played 4 Crisis. You always want to ride him as much as you can. You never want to ride Close. He's just a better Vanguard to be on. For the grade twos, I played two Colony Maker. Since I play Carbon in the deck, uh, Colony Maker is really great for just cycling through and getting your soul engine up for close and for the stride fodder. I played two of the promo, the one that locks from hand. You can pull off some really good combos with this as long as you string it along just right, and you can legitimately take away five cards from your opponent's hand in one turn. I played three Strange. It's a better Photon. It's free like Photon, and it's just all around better. And I played three Dubnium. At the end of the turn, Soul Blast one, retire it, lock one of your opponent's cards. And when GB is active, you counter blast one, they either lock a card from the hand, or he gets plus ten and you draw a card. So it's just great for pressure. Moving on to the grade ones, I played four of the three imperfect guard, because you will more than likely always have three cards locked, so you can just draw a card off of it. Make it free essentially. Played four zinc. Uh, don't think I need to explain that one. Play two of this guy for the on hit pressure of Omega Locking, and it's an 11k booster, so not bad. And I played four Stride Fodder because the Soul Blast to search out close is just way too good for me. Moving on to Great Zeros. See, there he is. There's Carbon. He's in the deck. I'm a good person. For the triggers, I played four draw. I chose to play this draw instead of 12 crit. I know some people like 12 crit. I played the draw, though you can kick at the soul and you can make sure that you always have a soul engine. Come on. Played three of the new heal. Sad face played one of the other Star Vader heals. I, I just couldn't get my hands on another copy of this. If I had, if I was able to, I would have played four of that because counter charging or soul charging just really helps out a lot. And I played eight crit four of the hedgehog because he's a hedgehog and four of that crit simply because locking your opponent's back row is really good so for the g-zone i played two universe uh, choosing where your opponent locks the card and locking one from their hand is just really good especially since all the hand hate that, cha that chaos just has now is just too good to pass up played two Athani. It's really good. It came in handy whenever you're playing up against matches where they just want to try to rush you down. You can punish them for rushing you down. You can essentially lock their board. Or if you just need the hand recovery, you can recover your hand really well. Two glue ball. I only played two because the G-Zone's kind of really tight. I'm just experimenting around with it. Glue ball came in handy. It won me one of my matches. Just really good for making your board really big. Everybody's personal favorite. Played three Deluge. Because why not? Taking two cards from your opponent's hand, especially using close as a stride fodder and close as a ditch fodder for this guy. It's four cards. Four cards! It's just too good. One Amnesty Messiah. I know a lot of people do not play that. Some of them choose to play the Destiny G Guardian. This actually won me a game. In my mirror match, uh, the opponent was not expecting it and I just he had my board locked out so it just came in handy. One GB8. Never got to use it. I just had way too many other options to be able to play around. One Stark. I got to use this one time. One time. And it won me that game. Love this card. Probably one of the better Zeroth Dragons in my opinion. So for the G Guardians. Do, 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 and do. Played one Destiny Guardian. So that way if you're in a mirror match or something, you can just unlock your own units and get a big shield bonus. One Lacus Karina for the back row lock. One Cosmo Reef for almost the same thing, but you only get to lock one unit. Not bad, and you don't have to lock your units compared to Lacus Karina. And one of this guy. This guy's amazing. You will always see two lock cards in your opponent's force. You will always get a draw off him. Alright guys, so that was the deck. Um, in tournament it actually ran really well for me. 
I only had a GSS one game for a grade one. Uh, overall, I was really happy with how it performed. I uh, didn't really run into a lot of consistency issues. Everything, everything that I needed was there. Um, if anything had to be modified to my taste, uh, I think the stride zone could be worked on a little bit more. Uh, but if you have any comments or anything that you have ideas or suggestions, uh, please comment and let me know. That way I can try out different ideas as well. Be sure to keep an eye out for future gameplay videos featuring me piloting this deck. Uh, if you want to see more deck profiles and more gameplay videos, click here. And if you like what you see, please subscribe. This is Big Billy saying, final turn. Yes. Beat the shit out. Yeah. There's no titties though.